Ladies and gentlemen, please stand for the presentation of colors. The national anthem and the Pledge of Allegiance. You are asked to please remove all headgear and to remain silent during this presentation out of respect for America. We thank you for your cooperation. This afternoon's color guard is presented by the Aiden Griffin Charger JROTC Battalion. It is commanded by Cadet Captain Stephen Johnson. Other members of today's color guard are Cadet Captain Jonathan Chapman, Cadet Captain Khadija Davis, and Cadet Master Sergeant Quentin Kenson. Ladies and gentlemen, our national anthem. Please join me in saying the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Please be seated. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome all moms and dads, aunts and uncles, brothers and sisters. Welcome all teachers, faculty members, and distinguished guests. Welcome all students, and of course, welcome to the graduates of Aiden Griffin High School class of 2011. <laughs> There are about 115 of us graduating high school today. Now, this may seem like a small graduating class to the average person, but I can say for sure that we have definitely had one of the largest impacts on our school. Not to sound arrogant, but I truly believe that we're the graduating class that all high schools wish they had. We have made vast impressions on our peers, our teachers, and we even became role models for the underclassmen. We have all created memories for each other these past few years. Some of these memories are joyful, others sad. Some break our hearts while others heal them. If you look to the people sitting beside you right now, I bet you can remember something that you did together at one point because that's how close we've been. And I can guarantee that no one will ever forget the Aiden Grifton High School class of 2011. So once again, I welcome everyone to our graduation ceremony.
Today is the day we finally graduate from Aiden Grifton High School. Today we leave and start what we've been dreaming of since we were little. But none of us will be sitting here ready to graduate without the help of some very special people. Yes, there were those teachers that we adored through the years, and yes, there were those friends that we could have never done without. Yet there are those who sit in the audience that deserve even more recognition because they were with us from day one. Parents, your constant support and strength is more appreciated than you will ever know. You have been with us through thick and thin, good and bad. You were there at our lowest points, persuading us to persevere and strive to be the best that we could be. You believe in us when sometimes we didn't believe in ourselves. Whether we had homework, projects, clubs, sports, or sometimes a little bit of everything, you were there to help us relieve some of the stress. Frank A. Clark once stated, the most important thing that parents can teach their children is how to get along without them. The best example of this is the class sitting in front of me right now. I see before me young men and women who are independent and confident because of the time and effort you, the parents, put forth. There are many words that can express gratitude, including gratefulness, appreciation, and thankfulness. But the best phrase to express our gratitude is thank you. Thank you for everything that you as parents have done for us. Thank you for pushing us to try our best to succeed and being there for us when we don't. There are countless things that I can stand here and tell you that we appreciate the most about our families. However, we are the most thankful that our families are the ones who prepared us the best for the world beyond high school. Finally, thank you for being here today at our graduation to witness our greatest triumph yet, because without you, we would have never made it. Good afternoon and welcome to the graduation ceremony for the Aiden Grifton High School class of 2011. This is a very special time for these young men and women and they deserve a graduation exercise that is carried out with pride and dignity. On behalf of the class of 2011, I respectfully request that you remain seated during the ceremony and please respect all students when diplomas are being awarded. I wish to acknowledge the faculty and staff members who are present today and, and to say thank you for helping with the many assignments required for this to be a successful commencement program. A special thank you goes to Mr. Marty Baker, our beloved principal, Dr. Linda Maddox, assistant principal, and the graduation director, Mr. Preston Bowers. We are pleased to have as our guests today the following members of the Pitt County Board of Education seated behind me on the platform, Mr. Billy Peden, board chair, Mr. Worth Forbes, Mr. Benji Forrest, Mrs. Barbara Owens, Mr. Matthew Ward, Mr. Mark Wichard, and Mrs. Mary Williams, and the Superintendent of Pitt County Schools, Dr. Beverly Reap. At the conclusion of today's graduation ceremony, we respectfully request that all guests remain in the upper level until all seniors have exited the Coliseum. At this time, Mr. Marty Baker, our principal, will introduce the salutatorian and the valedictorian of this year's senior class. During her four years in high school, Megan Dodds has been a leader in academics. She is a motivated student and a scholar. She has been a member of the Aiden Gripton High School Championship Quiz Bowl team, which has been the Pitt County champion for the past three years and regional champion this year. She is a member of the National Honor Society and is a North Carolina academic scholar. We wish her well next year as she continues her education at Pitt Community College. At this time, I would like to ask her parents, Andy, and Lynn Dodds to please stand and be recognized.
please join me as we welcome the salutatorian of the Aiden Grifton class of 2011, Megan Elizabeth Dodds. Good afternoon, guests and fellow graduates. Today, the senior class of 2011 is graduating from Aiden Grifton High School. Like all the seniors before us, we are faced with one door closing and another opening. We are closing the doors to Aiden Grifton with memories of great teachers, amazing friends, and good times. New doors are opening for us all the time, from colleges to new job opportunities. Most of us already know how Aiden Grifton is Pitt County's best kept secret. We have the best gra grades, athletics, teachers, and people here. One such teacher with whom we owe our success is Ms. Karen Harker. She was the best senior English teacher that most of us could ask for. Even though this was her first year teaching, she always knew what to do when we had a problem. I think I can speak for all of us in saying thank you, Ms. Harker. We also have to thank the coach. <laughs> We also have to thank the coaches for our numerous awards and acknowledgments, including conference championships in multiple sports over the years, and Mr. Will Tyre for coaching tennis as well as teaching us to win Quiz Bowl for the past three years. We have the highest academic scores in the county, and as for the people here, I couldn't ask for a better class or better friends to graduate with. So many memories have happened in the past four years, from food fights our sophomore year to faculty changes and loss of dear friends. We are like a family here. Even though there are people we may not like, we stand up for each other in times of need. Like when Aiden, Ms. Jones' son, passed away, we all wore white shirts and blue ribbons in honor of his short time here with us. Even people who come here for a short while, like foreign exchange students, feel the love and bonds that we all share and we have developed over the years. We have spent four or more years together and all of us have a story to tell of friends we've made, classes we've had, and times we've spent here. I have had so many memories of fun like Mr. McLaurin's theater class and tech theater classes, Mr. Adams' jokes, Ms. Williamson's art projects, and Ms. Harker's skits and poems. My favorite memory of all of these years has to be walking in the door our freshman year and not knowing all of the things that were to come, like the friends we've made and lost, the classes we would love and hate, and the accomplishments that we've made, like today. We are all going to different colleges like ECU, App State, UNC Chapel Hill, and NC State, but I know we will all stay in touch because of how close we are. We've shared good memories and good times like senior picnic and senior awards night, and we will cherish these memories for the rest of our lives. They make us better people and help us to remember the good in every single one of us. All of these memories have shaped the people we are today. We've made important decisions that have made us better and wiser to the world around us. We are the doctors, teachers, and politicians of the future. Today we graduate, tomorrow we change the world. We are the way of the future. Thank you, Megan. Brittany Murphy is a young woman of whom any parent would be proud. She is committed to excellence in every endeavor and strives to meet whatever challenge is placed before her. She is a role model on our campus as exemplified by her participation in Student Government, Link Crew, Greenville Youth Council, Health Science Academy, National Honor Society, and Career and Technical Education Honor Society. Brittany is the cream of the crop, and Aiden Grifton is proud to send her to East Carolina University, where she will be a North Carolina teaching fellow. At this time, I would like to ask her parents, Earl and Peggy Murphy, to please stand and be recognized. Please give a warm welcome as I introduce the valedictorian of the class of 2011, Brittany Lynette Murphy.
Good evening, honored ladies, gentlemen, and fellow graduates. It is a pleasure and honor to be given the opportunity to give the valedictorian speech for this senior class. We are here this evening to celebrate the accomplishments of this outstanding senior class. On behalf of the senior class, I would like to thank all of you for joining us on this special occasion. To the class of 2011, Maria Robson, a famous author from John Hopkins University, once said, nobody can go back and start a new beginning, but anyone can start today and make a new ending. Senior class, life is all about choices, and where you end up 10 years from now is what counts in your life. It's the end of the beginning. There are numerous things that I can say about this senior year. This senior year was filled with excitement and educational moments. It was also filled with many obstacles as well as many achievements. I'm sure the senior class can recall many good moments at Aiden Griffin High School, such as the water balloon toss and the delicious barbecue we had at our senior picnic. We not only had fun this year, but we also worked very hard this year. We filled out college applications and scholarships. We have taken our final exams and finished our senior project. This year also changed from the other three years we were in high school. Many things have changed. I know that some of you had senior riders this year because you were so eager to graduate. Now we have got to that day. Now I'm going to speak about the years that we were, that we were at Aiden Griffin High School. We were excited about becoming a freshman and having the high school experience. Four years ago, we looked at the seniors and wanted to be them. We are them today because in just a few moments, all of you will be receiving your high school diploma. Three years ago, we stepped into Aiden Griffin with a new attitude. We were looking to fit in. We made new friends. Two years ago, we became upperclassmen. We found out where we fit in. We were thinking about college and found out where we wanted to go. One year ago, we entered Aiden Griffin as seniors. Everything we did was the last. Our last homecoming, our last prom, our last time sitting in our classes, our last time walking through the halls at Aiden Griffin as a senior, and our last season in a sport. One year ago, we started applying to college and we got accepted. Now we realize that growing up is filled with excitement as well as sadness. We now realize that we're about to leave all our friends behind. We're about to go on a journey. Now we're getting anxious to move on. Now we, now we have the face to, to say goodbye. I can say that this completes one chapter in our lives. There are many chapters in our life that are going to be completed as we go through the different stages in our life. We're going to leave this place today and go out into the world and accomplish great things. We're going to be the people that will find a vaccination for many diseases in the world today, such as the acquired immunodeficiency disease. We're going to be the people that make a positive impact in someone's life. We're the people in the world today that are going to invent many new things. We are the future and we are going to do extraordinary things. All of you today have accomplished something in your life because you are sitting here today. Former Secretary of State Colin Powell once stated, there are no secrets to success. It is the result of preparation, hard work, and learning from failure. Senior class, there is going to be a moment in your life that you're going to not make the best choices. That's okay, because all you have to do is learn from it and get right back up. I would say that I was a person in the past that was afraid of failing. I learned that fear only makes things worse. Do you think that some of the greatest people in this world today have fear in their hearts? No. How do you think Bill Gates became the richest man in the world today? I'm not saying that he was not scared at one moment in his life, but he did not let fear keep him from achieving his dream. Life is all about learning from your failures and mistakes. Once you learn from them, you will know what to do differently than the last time. Where do we go from here? All of you are the only ones that can answer that question. All of you have your personal dreams and you know what it takes to reach them. I know that all of you have dreams that you think about constantly. Personally, I have dreams in life and I think about them all the time. It puts a smile on my face to know that one day I will influence someone's life. All of the seniors here today have a gift that will affect someone in a positive way. All of you today can do anything if your mind is focused. Can't should not be in no one's vocabulary. Yes, you can do anything that you have the heart to do. The only things that you have to worry about today are the present and what you're going to do to achieve in the future. The past is over and done with. Now as we are sitting here today, 
Some of us are saying that we could have waited to get older because there is no turning back once all of you leave this building today. You will become responsible adults and you have to go out to the world without mommy and daddy. You have to wake up on time and go to class without mom yelling in your ear to get up. You have to turn in your homework on time without your teacher saying, oh, it's okay, sweetie, I will give you one more day. For, our, for all of you that are attending college, it's a different ball game than high school. If you don't come to class, then you won't get the work that you will need for a test. There is no reminding you to turn your homework in. There is no making up days that you miss. You are responsible for everything you do, and the choices you make will affect your life. The choices you make will affect whether you live in that nice house in the future. The choices you make will affect whether you graduate from college. The choices you make will affect whether you be successful in the future. But I'm sure that all of you won't have to worry about that because you have wisdom and intellect. We have the aptitude to, to succeed and the abilities to make a difference. This is the last time that we, the class of 2011, will sit together as a senior class. This is the last time that we will be respected as a senior class. Graduation is a moment of happiness. We have spent about 1,008 days in school and many hours in all of our classes from English to math. Now we are like, yes, we made it. We're about to graduate and move a step ahead in our future. We're going to go out into the world and go to college, the military, or the workforce. This is a big step in our future, and everything we do will have consequences. At our 10-year class reunion, I hope to see all of you wiser than you are now. I also want to see all of you in a profession that you enjoy doing and want to be a part of. I would like to take this time to thank everyone who has helped each and every one of us to get here today, whether it was a parent, grandparent, teacher, or guardian. If it wasn't for God, our family, and our teachers, all of us wouldn't have got to this point in our life. I would like to personally thank God for allowing me to be here today. My parents were constantly instilling good values in me, my family for their support, and the staff at Amy Griffin High School. This year, I was always running to my counselors about scholarships and recommendations. Thank you so much, Mr. Pearson, Mrs. Glass, and Mrs. McCoy. I was also constantly worrying my teachers about recommendations. Thank you so much, Mrs. Joyner, Mrs. Tucker, Mrs. Wimerson, Mrs. Mr. Tyre, Mrs. Grubbs, and the rest of the Aiden Griffin staff. All these people that I have mentioned today have inspired each and every one of us in some point of our, of our lives. You're the people that we look up to and want to be just like one day. We're going to look ahead 10 years from now and say, I am glad that I listened to my teachers and family because they really helped me. We're also going to understand why our teachers stress to us the importance of education. Because education is the key to success. Education is something that will always be with us no matter what happens. A quote from Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. says, the function of education is to think attentively and to think critically. Intelligence plus character, that is the goal of, goal of true education. True education is having intelligence and maintaining a good character. All of you have the ability to show these characteristics, and I believe that all of you can do anything in this world if your mind is stayed on the prize. This is the end of the beginning, fellow graduates. Before I take my seat, I want this senior class to remember one thing. Follow all of your dreams and don't let anything get in your way. Also, make it a great life or not, the choice is yours. Congratulations to the class of 2011. Yes, we made it. I'm going to miss all of you dearly. I love you all and I hope to see you in the future. Thank you. Thank you, Brittany. At this time, we will be awarding the Jefferson Cups, the Aiden Griffin High School faculty. The Aiden Griffin High School faculty and administration will honor the top four seniors with this gift, the Jefferson Cup. Seniors, please come forward as I call your name. Will the parents of these top academic seniors please stand as your student's name is called. Ranking number four, Regina Ann Rumley. <laughs> Ranking number three, Taylor Nicole Jackson. <laughs> Ranking number two, Megan Elizabeth Dodds.
and ranking number one, Brittany Lynette Murphy. Our teachers and staff make up a family of committed educators who go the extra mile for our students at Aiden Gripton High School. Our teachers do not settle for anything less than the best that each student can give. Our teachers tutor during their lunch periods before and after school and are committed to modeling the characteristics that a charger should possess. Without the guidance and wisdom of the teachers and staff, this day would not be possible. Please give a round of applause for our faculty. I would also like to recognize Charles Payne, our construction technology teacher who has announced his retirement. Thank you, Mr. Payne, for 30 years of service and dedication and for your commitment to the students of Aiden Grifton High School and to those across Pitt County. Please join me in celebrating Mr. Payne. Before we award the class of 2011 their diplomas, I would like for you to note in your commencement program those seniors who have received special recognition as being in the top 10% of their class and as being North Carolina scholars. Congratulations to those seniors for your hard work. As principal, I would also like to publicly thank this wonderful group of young people for an outstanding year. This class has worked hard and has been awarded scholarship dollars in the amount of $1,086,058. Please give them a hand. As principal during my first year at Aiden Griffin, it's been a pleasure getting to know each of you, and I want you to know how much the administration and staff appreciates your support of Aiden Griffin High School. You will always be a special group of students to us, and we wish you the best as you enter a new phase of your life. At this time, we will award the members of the class of 2011 their diplomas. The presentation of diplomas represents 13 years of hard work and dedication of the 2011 Aiden Grifton High School graduating class. In an effort to ensure that each senior is recognized, please hold your applause until all diplomas have been awarded. Presenting the graduates their diplomas is Dr. Beverly Reap, Superintendent of Pitt County Schools. She will be assisted by Ms. Mrs. Annette Glass and Mr. Preston Bowers. With a Class of 2011, please prepare to come forward as directed by our junior marshals. Will marshals and faculty please move to your positions at this time. Will the first row please stand? Juan Manuel Aguirre Jr. Lucas Angel Romero. Nicole Melinda Artis. Dante Montrell Atkinson. Monte DeMont Atkinson. Michael Ricardo Baker. Michael Trey Barham.
Khadidra Shanquil Barrett. Sebastian Wayne Barwick. Courtney Marie Bennett. To Alexis Monique Best. Johnny Ray Brady. Justin. Justin Alexander Brannon. Martise Jamal Bright. Kiana Renee Brown. Donovan Kyle Bullock. David Scott Calhoun, Jr. Michael Cannon. Craig Devon Chapman. Edor Chavez. Lindsay Nicole Cochran. Idris Cofield. Andrea Marie Coleman. Callie Ann Coltrane. Keith Edvin Connor. Raven Lindsay Creech. Everett Garcia Cruz. Spencer Daniel D'Amato. Christopher Thomas Denton. Cody Michael Dietrich. Caleb Terrelly Dixon. Megan Elizabeth Dodds. Kieran Jasmine Drury. Nieran Jasmon Drury. Joshua Joseph Duarte. Ayana Dews. Brittany Leticia Ebron. Jimmy Ray Ebron Jr. Karenia Danielle Edmonds. Cody Allen Edwards. Eric Paul Edwards. Jessica Renee Edwards. Joshua Joshua O'Brien Edwards. Candace Dorsey Ellis. Ebony Maureen Ellison. 
Margaret Elizabeth Yore. Abigail Lane Farmer. Tawana Roche Franklin. Marquel Kimai Gardner. Takia Garris. Carly Elise Gaylor. Jayla Mariah George. Octavius Lagrad Gilbert. Mikhail Dion Gray Simmons. Sarah Nalia Green. Kaylee Nicole Griffin. Jack Tyler Grahalski. Dylan Andrew Gregor. Rebecca Gubinard. Caitlin Ann Gwynn. Chelsea Maeve Harris. Asia Nicole Harris Moy. Kristen Laurel Harrison. Christopher Delquan Hawkins. Travante Cantrell Hawkins. Tyler Aaron Hill. Josie Allison Holland. Alexis Yvonne Hulon. Taylor Nicole Jackson. Derek Ray Jenkins. Aaron Michael Jesmer. Alexis Kari Jones. Derricka Melissa Jones. Lloyd, Lloyd Dylan Jones. Taylor Morgan Joyner. Monique Shaquille Lang. Zach Robert Leak. Dasha Angelica Lewis. Dominique Donche Moniz Lewis. Devin Tyler Libby. Tyrese Rakista Little. Daniel Luviano. Joseph Michael Maine. Kevin Edward Morero. Sean Cameron Maxwell. Timothy Blake McCarter. 
Jeffrey Scott Mullis. Bridget Lene Murphy. Brittany Lynette Murphy. Derek William O'Rock. Quanisha Shanice Patrick. Randy J. Q. Danielle Devon Rogers. Eric Reed Romero. Jair Damar Roundtree. Joseph Jaquan Rouse. Regina Ann Rumley. Jocelyn Raquel Sherrod. Hillary Ann Stafford. Marshall Paul Stafford. Erica Nicole Starnes. Linnell Ashley Suggs. Ante Tyquel Sutton. Ethan Allen Taylor. Zachary Justin Toller. Kayleen Jordan Tripp. Sarah Elizabeth Tyson. Monteria Janice Wallace. Virgit Virgit Filippo Ward the second Gabriel Aaron Waters Brittany Renee Weldon Scotty Ladrell Witcher. Alexis Deshaun Whitaker. Alicia Renee Williams. And George Paul Yiznitsky. The fifth. At this time, I would like all graduates to please rise. <laughs> graduates, class of 2011, it gives me great pleasure to say to you these words. By the power vested in me by the state of North Carolina and the State Board of Education, I hereby confirm that all students today present 
have successfully completed all requirements set forth, set forth by the State Board of Education and the Pitt County School Board. Congratulations, Class of 2011, and I hereby officially declare you, based on the diplomas you've received, official graduates of Aiden Griffin High School. At this time, at this time, Kayleen Jordan Tripp will conduct the tassel ceremony and make closing remarks. Congratulations, seniors. Graduates, I would like to leave you with one of my favorite quotes. Laugh when you can, apologize when you should, and let go of what you can't change. Because life is too short to be anything but happy. Class of 2011, we've made it. Our high school years are finally completed, and now we will begin new chapters in our lives. I wish you all the best in all of your future goals and dreams. Graduates, Class of 2011, please join me in the turning of our tassels from the right to the left. And for the last, and for the last time, we are the class of two o. Oh.